Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are making something different. I decided to make some homemade muffins. Low in sugar, low in saturated fats and it has got half decent ingredients in it which are going to give them nutrition as well as satisfy their sweet tooth. So I've come up with this. Amandi, Mandy Johnson, this is for you because we mentioned this last week at our graduate group. Um, so what do we need? Really simple, okay. Two cups, so that's the cup I've used. Two of those, plain flour. We have a whole tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, all in this dry, so that's our dry ingredients. Okay, that was the dry ingredients. So we need two beaten eggs. In it, we're going to put one cup of Greek yogurt. Yes, high protein Greek yogurt is going to go in our cranberries. So, just gonna scoop that out. Ooh, half of it's on top. You can also use milk to get the yogurt, get the consistency, the batter, loosen if you need to. We're making blueberry and white chocolate muffins. We're gonna put some vanilla essence into our wet ingredient, just a little bit. Now, you must be wondering where is that sugar that she's going to put in here. So, I'm going to show you how little sugar we're going to use in this. Two of these flat tablespoons of sugar, which is very little. So per blueberries, we're making about 15 here. It's going to work out to be like half a teaspoon of sugar. And that's, that's all you need, guys. You don't need a lot of sugar. And then in the wet ingredients, we're going to also put some olive oil. Again, that's quarter of a cup or to three of these and that's all you need again olive oil try and use olive oil not sunflower oil and um, the taste will not be great if you use that so we are going to put this mixture and that mixture together like so and this is where i was saying if it gets a little bit too sticky the mixture you can put milk to loosen it up don't need any more oil to loosen it up and we're just going to mix this up what we want the batter to be is, you know, you need to scoop it and put it in the muffin. So we need the batter to be like a cake mixture almost. Make sure all of the flour has been mixed properly underneath. And yep, yeah, I definitely need milk in this one. Just a little splash, keep it with you. Also make sure that your oven was on before we actually started, but on 180 degrees. We're going to bake them for 15 minutes. And at this stage, you're going to add your blueberries or whatever you want to use. Now here, you could make half blueberries, half chocolate, if you wanted to. So, what I am doing, one of my kids didn't, doesn't like blueberries, so I need to make sure that blueberry ones are separate by adding it to a different bowl. So half my batter, so this is the batter, which I'm happy with. Okay, so we have a mixture of dark chocolate chips in here, white chocolate chips and blueberries are gonna go together. Go for a lot of blueberries. So the chocolate ones that we're doing, putting a mixture of dark and milk chocolate in it. Again, you don't have to do this. You can pretty much do, and again, you can control that, up to half a pack each for this amount. Right, and we're ready to now scoop the mixture in. And what you're just gonna do is you're gonna, one whole tablespoon and heaped, in it goes. So. We are nearly getting to the end of our chocolate round here. Okay, that's one done. So it looks like this. There we go. And the other one, the blueberry, is the next one. And we've got quite a few out of this batter, by the way, guys. So I've got nine there, and it doesn't matter if they're not very big. Actually, in fact, it's quite good because the idea is to have one a day. So if it's not that big, it's okay. Right, and I'm gonna show you. And they come out for 15 minutes and 180 degrees, guys. Okay, let's put them in. Woo! Right, I will show you in a minute. Uh, in 15 minutes, they're ready. 